Hi everyone, I will present adversarial detection, attacking object detection in real time. Some robotic applications rely on object detection models to perceive the environment. For example, an autonomous driving system relies on object detection models to detect traffic signs and pedestrians. Our research demonstrates that we can attack object detection models in real time. We can fabricate bounding boxes at desired locations. We can even specify which kinds of traffic signs to fabricate. For example, the multi untargeted attack generates all different kinds of traffic signs. We have 30, 60, the stop sign, while the multi targeted attack only generates the desired traffic sign. We only have stop signs here. Before introducing our method, Prior research used adversarial filter and adversarial patch to form object detection models. The adversarial filter applies the perturbation to the entire image. The perturbation is unperceivable by human eyes, while the adversarial patch applies the perturbation to a small region of the input image, but the perturbation is perceivable by human eyes. Besides, the adversarial patch can control where we fabricate objects. Well, the adversarial filter cannot. By combining adversarial filters in perceptibility and adversarial patches localizability, we generate adversarial overlays, which means we can generate human unperceivable perturbation at a small region of the input image. Mathematically, we summarize how different methods apply the perturbation in different ways. Now let's see a real-time demo. We tested our attacks in Ross Gazebo Simulator. The object detection model seems to be stable. Now let's generate some traffic signs in the air. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Now we have traffic signs everywhere. In the research paper, we introduce how we generate adversarial overlays using three adversarial loss functions. You can also test our attacks without using TurtleBot. Here, we demonstrate our attacks using a USB camera. For example, let's fabricate some objects at the right top corner. Now we have umbrella and person. We open source our system on GitHub. Uh, you can find the source code and the slides on this website. Our real-time attack could jeopardize real-world robotic applications Deep learning security is important, especially for safety-critical robotic applications. Thank you.